Congratulations on receiving your new Robinair Cooltech 34788 air conditioning service machine. You'll soon be ready to service any make or model of vehicle AC system with extraordinary ease and accuracy. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how to set up the 34788. Then you'll see a demonstration of the 34788's fully automatic air conditioning service functions. Finally, we'll show you some specific maintenance procedures and some key accessories for the 34788 that will assist you in performing fast and accurate AC service. This video is a visual demonstration of the procedures outlined in the operating manual that came with your machine. You may find it useful to follow along in the manual while you view this video. The manual contains important information on safety and operator requirements, so be sure to read and understand it thoroughly before you begin using the 34788. The keypad is straightforward and simple to operate. The up, down, left, right arrow keys are used for scrolling through menu items. The start yes and stop no keys start or stop functions. The menu key displays the selection menu. The automatic, recover, vacuum, inject oil, and charge keys activate these selected functions. The database key offers access to system oil and refrigerant specifications by make, model, and year. This function is optional, but is a great asset in performing service. Let's start with the proper setup of the Robinair Cooltech 34788. Performing the setup correctly is very important to obtaining years of trouble-free operation from your machine. First, unpack the accessory kit from the bag and remove the plastic packaging. The accessory kit consists of a calibration weight, a supply of vacuum pump oil, oil filler cap with tube, and an extra oil injection bottle. There's also a plastic pouch containing the warranty card which you should fill out and mail in to be sure your 34788 will be covered by our one-year parts and labor warranty. Or you can register online at www.robinair.com. There's also a list of Robinair service centers. Service center locations can also be found on our website. Next, there's an envelope of Mobile Air Conditioning Society, or MAX, information. Inside the envelope of MAX information, you'll find the MVAC certification form. You must complete and mail the form to MAX so you can be notified of updates and other information. Also in the pouch are applicable MSDS sheets containing detailed information for safe material handling. It's very important that you keep all these materials in a convenient and safe place in case you need to refer to them. Unwind the power cord from the handle and plug it into an outlet that has the correct voltage. For the Robinair Cooltech 34788, you should have a 120 volt supply with at least a 20 amp circuit breaker in line for optimum performance and protection. Turn on the main power switch located on the front cowling. The first time the unit is powered up, the initial setup mode is shown on the LCD display on the front panel. Your first option is to select a text language for the 34788 from one of three languages, English, French or Spanish. Use the up or down arrow key to toggle through the choices and press the yes key to select the displayed language. You will now choose to have test results displayed in imperial or metric units of measure. The imperial option will display amounts in pounds and ounces, while the metric option uses kilograms. Use the up or down arrow key to toggle through the choices for imperial or metric units. Press yes to select the operating unit of your choice. The next step is to either accept the unit's preset default weight of 15 pounds or 6.8 kilograms of refrigerant stored in the internal storage vessel, or ISV for short. Or you may wish to change the amount to accommodate your application. Press the yes key at this time to accept the default amount or use the keypad to enter a desired amount between 4 and 20 pounds and then press the yes key to save the change. Now you'll add oil to the vacuum pump. It's very important to note that the vacuum pump inside the Cooltech 34788 is shipped without oil in the reservoir. Failure to add oil to the vacuum pump will damage the pump and void your warranty. Remove the brass plug from the vacuum pump oil fill port. Attach the flexible tube cap to the oil bottle and carefully pour 5 ounces only of vacuum pump oil into the fill port.
Now press and release the start key to start the pump. While the vacuum pump is running, slowly add oil until the level rises to the center of the reservoir sight glass. Press the stop key to stop the vacuum pump and install the brass plug in the fill port. Now a word of caution concerning the brass plug. This point in the setup procedure is the only time the pump should be run without the plug firmly in place. To prevent personal injury, do not operate the unit at any other time without the brass plug installed because the vacuum pump is pressurized during normal operation.